Hi, I'm Clyde Van Dyke. I'm a Cyber Operations Management. I'm in my junior year and I'm also the Senior Resident Assistant in O'Connor Hall. In O'Connor Hall, we really focus on programming and getting students to really get, engage with one another and to get to know each other because Delhi is such a loving family and it's a great um, environment for people to get to know one another, which is why O'Connor is known for FYE, which is also known as the first year experience. So with that, students are able to engage with each other a lot more through active programming that happens throughout your duration here at Delhi in O'Connor Hall. Um, it allows a lot of first year students to really get to know the campus, get to know the students, get to know about the programs that we have, and to further explore and see if that's right, the, just the right path that they want to take. And here we are in one of our rooms in O'Connor Hall. Um, this room right now is currently set up to be a triple. Usually you were only having singles and doubles, but if you are interested in a triple, definitely when you're signing up for your housing, make sure you put that on your housing contract and we can make that accommodation for you. Me personally, I lived in a triple my first semester and I loved it. My one roommate was a returner, so he was sort of like a mentor to me. He taught me how to, how to navigate the campus, where all the food and dining options are. And it was just a really good experience. So I definitely encourage living in a triple, but obviously right now, um, singles and doubles are much more preferred. Um, I like the space. Um, it's a lot of very spacious, as you can tell. You can decorate almost anything and anywhere. I definitely prefer having a nice rug because it makes it more homely and living and stuff. Um, definitely some LED lights make it more cozy, you know. Um, it just makes it really cool and it brings it much more to life. It's like home away from home, as I like to describe it to other people. So when you go ahead and fill out your housing application, you can do one or two things. If you have a friend that you may already know that's going to Delhi and you're interested in rooming with them, when you fill out your housing contract, there's actually going to be a section where you can actually request to live with that person. Um, and if you don't have a person, that's totally fine. Most people usually don't. I definitely encourage not going out and trying to find a roommate. Um, it's just good to network and get to know other people that are coming from different areas of New York or out of the state. I mean, personally, my first roommate was lived in Connecticut, so it was great to get to know someone that didn't live in New York and hear their perspective. But again, if you have a person you're interested in rooming with, just put that down. And if not, you'll fill out a questionnaire and that's how the Office of Residence Life will be able to compile it and probably match you up with someone that you'll be most compatible with. And as well as if you always have any questions when you first move in, there's an RA on every floor, so be feel free to contact them and they'll be more than willing to help you out with any accommodations that you may seem fit. So here at Sunny Delhi, we definitely encourage students to bring items from home that make it feel homely and stuff. Obviously the essentials, refrigerator, microwave, etc., etc. The only thing is you, in the residence halls, you can only have one microwave and one mini fridge. So just make sure after you fill out the contract and you get your rooming assignment, whether it's your friend or uh, another person that you may not know, just make sure you're communicating with them to make sure that you're not bringing double stuff because obviously, like I just said, we're not allowed to have more than two of those appliances just because they draw a lot of power. And um, here at Delhi, we're trying to be energy friendly. So it's just a great way of being able to make sure that we're reducing the amount of energy that we use each year. All right, so here we're in the O'Connor kitchen. Every residence hall has a communal kitchen where students can feel free to cook a favorite dish or a recipe. We have many culinary students at Sydney Delhi and they feel free to utilize the kitchen to cook up some meals for lab, etc., etc. I definitely like to come here, um, just cook myself a late night bite. Um, if you ever need assistance with anything in the kitchen, or there's a clogged drain or anything like that, just make sure you let your RA know, and that way they can better assist you. We have a communal fridge, every, every kitchen has a communal fridge, so if you don't have room in your mini fridge, just make sure you label it, and feel free to store it in the communal fridge. There's also going to be a microwave in the kitchen as well. Every kitchen is going to look, look a little bit different, this is what our fridge this is what our kitchen looks like, and so I just encourage students to feel free to go with the flow and go with your imagination and cook up whatever your heart desires. Alrighty, so now we're in the O'Connor laundry room. Every residence hall has a laundry room that students can use for free, all included in your semester bill. 
Um, every laundry room is going to look a little bit different. This is what O'Connor's looks like. In O'Connor, we have one on every floor. In other residence halls, it will mainly be centralized in the basement area. So feel free to utilize that. We just um, let residents know that we don't provide detergent, laundry sheets, dryer sheets, etc., etc. So just make sure you bring that with you as you come down. I highly encourage getting a wheel basket. That way you're not looking at all those clothes with like two hands and it can get a little heavy, especially when you're opening the door. Um, the nice thing about these laundry rooms and these machines is that you can actually download the app called Laundry View and you can actually see when the machines are being used or if they're available. And if you want to be able to time when it's going to be um, done when you throw your clothes in, you can actually um, scan the code right here and it will tell you exactly when your clothes are going to be done. That way you're not um, setting a timer or waiting all day for your clothes to get done. It's very convenient just to have an application to tell you, oh, your clothes are ready. Alrighty, so here in this space we have the TV lounge. In every residence hall, there's always going to be a common area where students can sort of chill down and relax and just watch on TV. Ari has also used this room and various other rooms inside the building for RA programming. We also had many occurrences here where we've watched the Super Bowl on the big TV. Um, so I definitely encourage students to utilize the spaces on campus and within the residence halls. That way um, you don't feel like you're just crammed in your room all day and just studying. It's a great way to use the space just for your entertainment. There's no limits as to how you want to use the space. Definitely just have fun, um, have fun with your friends and just get the most out of the Delphi experience. Hi, my name is Eric and I'm a third year Mexican student here at Student Delhi. I'm a residential assistant here in Russell Hall. I'm real excited to show you around, so let's get started and see what it's like inside. I'm standing here in front of the RA office. The RA office is where all the residential assistants stay throughout the day. We keep the staff during the day and have the phone on standby throughout the night and on the weekends. The RAs are here to help you move in and get comfortable living in the rest halls. If you ever have any problems or difficulties, there's always going to be someone around here willing to help. Here yeah, I'm standing in one of the study lounges of Russell Hall. Each of the rest halls has their own lounges, along with study lounges and recreational lounges. And besides that, all the halls have their own community kitchen for students to use and share and laundry room. This ensures that all the students have a place where they can live comfortably and be prepared. We also offer living learning communities where students with the same major or similar interests can all reside in the same quad or similar area with each other. Here we're standing in a room for a residential assistant. While this is just a single person room, the rooms traditionally are prepared for two students living together at the same time. All the rooms come furnished with beds, wardrobes, and dressers for two people to live comfortably in the same shared living space. One of the questions we get asked about a lot is the bathrooms on campus. While every hall is different, the majority of the halls are the same, with sharing bathrooms between every hall, which can cost about 15 students or so, with two showers and two shower stalls that get cleaned daily every day for students to use and share. Thanks for joining us here. We hope this gave you a good insight about what life is like inside one of the rest halls. We also offer guided tours to see the rest of campus and inside the rest halls in person. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and contact us. We look forward to seeing you here and joining part of the community.